Greetings, YouTube. If you have not seen or fought the Luke Cage in the Abyss, you are in for a treat. And I say that in the most sarcastic sense possible. Because the Fight Me Coward node is absolutely a headache that I have talked to some unlucky summoners who it took them not just a lot of items, but just a crazy amount of time to take down. In some ways, it is the toughest fight of the whole abyss. Thankfully, we have a summoner, Mr. Samuel, who wants to give a tip about how to use this fight to your advantage. So notice in this fight that Aegon has zero persistent charges going into the fight. So you can see by his name, the number is zero. He doesn't need to be built up with Darkhawk. He also doesn't have to have the evade synergy from Nick Fury and Quake slash Ant-Man. So, the idea at five seconds is to begin the fight normal. Parry, combo, repeat. Build him up to a special one or a special two. So, that is the general strategy going into this fight. Now... We are going to start seeing that parry strategy already at the beginning. Now when we get to 29 seconds, the Abyssal ability comes up. He goes unblockable and unstoppable. Now this is a good time to bait his special while running down the Fight Me Coward 6 second timer. So let's watch as he baits the special. You've got the Fight Me Coward 6 second timer he's got to wait for and then you'll see an intercept right now when fight me coward comes up at this point there's almost a hundred percent chance that he'll use his special so also in this phase he's extremely aggressive and almost never dashes back now this is a good time to intercept even if you're somebody who's not normally comfortable going for that intercept so he dashes back once and gets ready to intercept knowing he'll always come forward. So the uh, the AI is very predictable in this fight. And then when he goes in for that medium intercept and nails it, that becomes his strategy. He just rinses and repeats. Now I want to be clear, this is a four minute video. In no way are you going to see a one shot of this fight. And you can tell that it is still something that he is having a hard time getting that initial damage on. But the biggest point, and you can see that damage now is ticking away, the biggest point for him is that you don't need Aegon ramped up to use him, and that you're able to, if, uh, while being tedious, you're able to get a, into a rhythm that makes this fight a lot less stressful than it can be for previous uh, summoners who've jumped into it. So really, you just rinse and repeat the strategy. Build them up to a special one, special two. When the unblockable and unstoppable comes up, dash back and then bait the special. Uh, and then using that intercept, uh, when he gets aggressive, you'll almost always have the ability to land it clean. And as you can see from that intercept there, it makes for just a patient rotation of strategy this is going to be a long fight no matter who you use it was designed to be that way but it's a easier fight than some people uh, attempt to because of the strategy you've seen here and it's nice to know since Aegon is the preferred champ of the abyss still that if you have him on your roster you uh, you can still use him even at those zero persistent charges at the beginning of the fight so I um. I'm very thankful for uh, for this strategy. He did have a final note that he recommends intercepting with medium or lights, but not heavies because he can stun you and then, of course, combo you into oblivion and knock you out instantly. And if, if you have the right mastery uh, boosted and the fight's going well, he's been able to take down this loop cage in five revives or even less. So he's acknowledging that this is still not... A strategy that you can one-shot somebody but he wishes that he had known this 
when he went into the Luke Cage fight for the first time. And, you know, when you put these kind of tips together for summoners who submit the videos and request for you, you really don't know if it's going to help everybody. But my strategy, as I told him, is if, if a video just helps one person, it was worth the time and effort. And so I appreciate that he has been able to give us this. You'll see that eventually uh, he gets the uh, abyss unblockable, unstoppable, and then has to quit out because he is going to get knocked out. But in general, I know it's tedious, and I know some people might look at this and be like, well, he still had 95% health left. But it was a relaxing strategy for him that, yes, you're going to have to use several revives, but in the end... It's consistently something you can count on with that aggressive AI to intercept as well as to bait those specials. So I hope this video helps. Thanks again to Samuel for passing it on to the community. We're going to end it right here. And as always, thanks for watching.